Hey family, welcome back to my channel. It's Patricia and today as you can see we are having the battle of the shakes. So I've got four shake companies and I'm going to highlight and I'm going to go over just the basic things about each company and we're just going to break down um, taste and all kinds of stuff just to see, you know, if it's something that you're interested in or not. I do have discount codes for two companies, but that is neither here nor there. We're just going to get down to the nitty gritty and talk specifics. Let me know below if you have tried any of these brands featured and let's get started. So first off, we have Orgain. This is one that everybody knows about. You can find it everywhere. You can order it online. You can find it at your local Walmart, at your supermarket. It is widely available. Comes in about 10,000 different flavors. Your girl does have a discount code. I will put that code down below so you can save some money. So Orgain, it says they are all about clean nutrition. And it also says that um, they are certified organic wherever possible, made without soy, um, carrageen, and GMOs. So even on the packaging, it tells you, um, you can just see it at a glance. They are made with, their shakes are made with organic pea protein, organic acacia organic brown rice and organic chia seeds so the serving size on this is two scoops and i will say now vanilla is my favorite flavor but they have many flavors i also have this is the last bundle that i got so i got the um, chocolate and caramel sea salt which i heard so many people talking about now i see why because it is absolutely delicious and I also have one more over here. Hold on. And that is the um, Peppermint Hot Cocoa. Now, this one might be misleading by the title. You can have this cold. You can have it hot or cold. I am a shake girl, so I've been having this cold. It's still enjoyable. If you don't want to drink a shake that tastes like it's like made from corrugated you know whatever cardboard or anything then orgain is going to be what you want because their shakes are absolutely delicious the price point is pretty decent so this big size right here is 33.99 and you get 20 servings out of it so I mean pretty decent deal so and like i said i do have the discount code for this one also if you want to save even more money okay next now let's move on to 310 nutrition now this is a brand that's been out for a while as well um you can shop them on the website and they are known also for being organic and vegan gmo free soy free gluten free you can shop for them at 310nutrition.com i do have a discount code for 310 as well i will list it down below for you now for this one this company the serving size is one scoop it's 110 calories um the carbs are seven grams and i forgot to mention for orgain your serving size is the two scoops. You're getting more carbs, so you're getting 15 carbs. No, 16 carbs um, per serving, and it's 170 calories. So I just wanted to mention that. So once again, that is for the Orgain, but I did want to go over the nutritional information with you. So now back to 310. So 310, let's get into it as well. There are a zillion flavors of 310 as well. Um, on this website, you are also getting shake boosters. They have lemonade mixes. They have superfoods, supplements, teas, all kinds of things. And let me just go to the meal replacement shakes just so I can give you the cost. 
they have two different kinds of shakes. Now this one is the regular meal replacement shake mix and that one cost, let me just find a regular one. Okay, horchata, that's one of my favorite flavors, but uh, they are 14 servings. Now this bag is um, 28 servings. So you can choose either 14 or 28. For 14 servings, it's gonna be $39.99. And for 28, it's gonna be $69.99. That is for 28 servings. So you would just do better to go ahead and just bump up and get the um, 28 servings to be able to save money on it. They have a ton of flavors of this as well. Um, they have a lot of seasonal flavors, just like um, Orgain does. So they've got chocolate mint, gingerbread. Um, the horchata is a seasonal one, pumpkin swirl. So you got a lot of things to look for on their website as well. That is the website. So these taste good as well. Now, I told you guys in a previous video, I mix all my shakes with water. For me, it's just easier. I will add a tablespoon of a creamer, like what you put in coffee, like a non-fat creamer or low-fat creamer, just to give it a little creaminess. Um, I mix that with my shake. I blend it up with like three ice cubes. Bada boom, bada bing, I'm out the door. 10 also has these all-in-one meals so these are um they have more fiber in them they have more digestive um properties they've got more a little more vitamins and there's a different vitamin and mi mineral blend in these as well so they've got i think um three or four different flavors of these now I prefer the regular 310 shakes, meal replacement shakes, to these. I felt like these were just a, a hair grainy at the end. Um, to me, these were more smoother and creamier. Next company we have is one that was brand new to me, just fell on my radar by accident. One of my Instagram friends was talking about it on one of her lives, and I was like, ooh check it out i love a healthy shake so this company is called truvani so the biggest thing about this company is that their shakes are only made with five count them five ingredients okay so on the packaging it says okay so it depends on the shake because I'm looking like, okay, it's only supposed to be five ingredients. But then when I looked on the website, it was showing six. This one says seven. Okay, so now your girl is confused. And this one says six. So I think it depends on the flavor that you choose. Okay, because I was looking at the chocolate one. The chocolate one does say six. So for Chirani, it says that there is no dairy um well this is for all of them so i'm just holding it up so you can see it no dairy no stevia no gums no soy no flow agents no emulsifiers no gluten non-gmo and no weird ingredients so that is for all four these shakes come in four flavors now, this chocolate one, it says that it is made with um, six ingredients. So, on the website, it shows you the ingredient list. And you can see it right here. Super easy to, to see everything. So, it is made with pea protein, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, alkalized cocoa, vanilla powder, and monk fruit. So, that is the ingredients for the chocolate. Um, let's move to the banana, and I'm sure this is probably on the back of this one as well, but, um, the cinnamon protein powder, this one is made with, um, 
Seven ingredients, pea protein, chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, monk fruit, vanilla powder. Um, we have Ceylon, Ceylon, C-E-Y-L-O-N, cinnamon, and banana powder. So that is the ingredients for the banana. Um, for the chocolate peanut butter, we have seven ingredients as well. I'm just going to name the um, ingredients that are different because it's just going to be the same thing over and over again. So for the banana peanut butter, you have your main four, and then you're adding vanilla powder, alkali alkalized cocoa, and peanut flour. And then for the last one, which is the vanilla, which you guys know I love me some vanilla. This one is made with, um, how many ingredients? I'm just scrolling to the bottom where I can see it. Um, this one is five ingredients. So, of course, oh, so it's the pea protein, the chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, vanilla powder, and monk fruit. So for this brand, I had heard some people saying it tasted a little chalky, a little, I, I kept hearing kind of earthy. Um, I did not get that with this brand. Now, I will say it's not the creamiest. I made these the same way as I made all the rest of my shakes with water and adding a tablespoon of a sugar-free or fat-free um, coffee creamer just to add something to it. I did notice these were thicker. So in the same shaker that I would make all my other shakes, I would notice there would be more at the bottom. So I would take some bottled water, which I'm always drinking anyway, pour that in, kind of swirl it around just to kind of remix it up. And then I would just drink it from there. I did notice more toward the very end, the taste was just a little bit less of what the flavor, whatever the flavor of the shake was. It was still that flavor of the shake, but it just, I kind of got what people meant about the earthiness. It wasn't like I, it, it was, it wasn't like I felt like I was drinking like dirt or anything like that, but the flavor did change just slightly, ever so slightly at the end, but it would not be enough to make me not want to um, pick these up. Now, I will say, since you are getting shakes that only have five, six, seven ingredients in them, these are expensive. They're, they're really expensive. Right now, they are having a sale where if you subscribe, you can save 17% off. So your price is going to be $50.00. And that is going to be for a 1.3 pound bag, which looks like, let's see, does it look like this? Um, it's a 20 ounce bag, 20.95 ounces. Uh, this bag is 28 ounces. So it's going to be a bag that's smaller than this. And it is going to be, if you subscribe, $50.00. If you don't subscribe, your one-time purchase is going to be $60. But once again, I want to stress, you have a shape that is clean, pretty much as clean as you can get it. Five ingredients, six ingredients, seven ingredients, depending on the flavor. And yeah, so... Gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, non-GMO, all that good stuff. So, there you go. And last but certainly not least, we have Keto Chow, which I have a code for that too. I forgot. So, I have a code for three out of the four brands that I have brought you today. So, Keto Chow, as you can guess, is all about keto. So, these are items that... Oh, I keep forgetting to give you guys the nutritional facts. So for Truvani, sorry guys, 
um, in one container, which I just have the packets of these. So these were the single serve packets. Um, the calories were 140 for the banana cinnamon, 150 for the chocolate peanut butter, 130 for the vanilla, and 150 for the chocolate. So your carb count is gonna be a little different for each one. Um, five grams for the chocolate. Um, let's see, we've got seven for the banana cinnamon. We've got four, no, we've got, sorry guys. It would help if I put my readers on. We've got six for the um, chocolate peanut butter and we have um, five, five grams for the vanilla flavor. Back to Keto Chow, guys. So Keto Chow is a company that makes different flavors of shakes. Now they have hot items. They have the cold items, which are the shakes. And these are low carb, of course, low carb, keto friendly options. They are meal replacement shakes. They come in a zillion flavors. This would be your meal. So you can live on Keto Chow and just do Keto Chow three meals a day and lose weight from doing it. So, and they're really easy to make. You basically just mix this with water and you use your fat. So whatever your fat's going to be, butter, they have a saying, butter is best. So you can use butter, mix it up with this. It sounds strange. It works. I'm here to tell you it works. Um, people also use whipped cream. I, no, not whipped cream, heavy whipping cream, like the liquid. I did that for me. I felt like the whipped cream took over the taste of the shake. So I use butter. I like it. Um, very easy to make. And you just use one of the shakers, which I have over here. And it has a little ball at the bottom and you fill it up with water, your um, fat source, and your shake. And you are good to go. So recently, Keto Chow did a drop. Well, they did a drop once before I missed it. Then they did a drop during the holidays. Your girl actually stopped working to partake and buy some of this shake right here. If you are on the Keto Chow train, you already know what a coveted shake this is. They said it's sold out in like 75 minutes. It was just ridiculous. It tastes delicious. You guys know I love blueberry, so. And they also released a new flavor. It was a mystery flavor, and I went ahead and got it. So the mystery flavor, the new flavor that they came out with is maple waffle. So in case you didn't see it on, you know, their Instagram page, here it is. It's the brand new flavor. It will be um, a staple item soon. So, and they also mentioned that the blueberry pie, they are going to make it a staple item that you can get a regular item because people just went so bonkers for it. So it's coming back. I think they said it'll be around spring when it comes back. So... Just tons of flavors, um, salted caramel. I mean, I have tons that I've gone through. Keto Chow also has different supplements um, on their website as well. They have, um, oh, what's the powder? I'm trying, the collagen powder, um, chocolate. They have a lot of really kind of funky uh, flavors that you wouldn't really see on other people's websites. Lemon meringue. Uh, raspberry cheesecake, um, chocolate mint. These are some, obviously, that I've already used. Um, chocolate toffee, caramel macchiato. So if you want something that's really fun and something you're not going to see everywhere, then Keto Chow is company to look to. Uh, mocha, cookies and cream. Because they really have different things. Well, vanilla, obviously. They have a lot of different um, kind of 
funky things, chocolate peanut butter. These are just some of the items that you will find on their website. Um, Snickerdoodle. So it's a lot of shakes that you're not going to see. Oh, another one. Oops. Uh, where was it? It's getting away from me. Apple pie. You know, just really fun, fun flavors. So, yeah. Um, keto chow is not the, it's, it's a little on the expensive side as well. So I do want to point that out. So you can get the packets. These packets are, um, obviously meal replacement packets. And for a packet, let me see. Oh, uh, right now I'm just, I'm looking at a peaches and cream one. They've got a pecan sticky bun. So just lots of different stuff. So the single meal, which is the packet of Keto Chow is $5.50. And if you decide to get the 21 meal bag, which I don't have a bag, I just have a whole bunch of singles, it will be $90. But once again, this is a meal replacement. This is formulated where you can have three Keto Chows a day and you are done and your body's going to get everything that it needs because it's getting that fat source that's mixed up with the shakes um, as well as all of the things that go into the shake that make it you know satisfactory for your body to intake that and keto chow by itself and be absolutely fine and they also break down everything on the back and that's on the back of each packet here it is going to give you a breakdown of the calories of the dry mix the calories with half a stick of butter which i do not use half a stick i might use like an eighth um whatever the one digit is i think that's an eighth um i might use that and keep it moving but especially if you are doing this as your primary meal source like if you're doing three keto chows a day then they give you the breakdown you would need that half a stick because your body is going to need that heavy fat content so it gives you all the nutritional facts if you're using half a cup of heavy cream once again if you are doing keto chow three meals a day, then yes, you do need to use that half stick of butter and that half cup of heavy cream because that is going to give your body what it needs and you need that fat in there so you're not starving to death. So it gives you the breakdown of everything. So your carbs, cholesterol, um, sodium protein, everything. So Keto Chow has done the work for you. That is the big thing with Keto Chow. They have everything down to a science where you know exactly what you're getting and they have it where this is working as fuel for your body. And if you do nothing else but Keto Chow, your body will be fueled properly and they've got it down to the nth calorie. So my thoughts, taste-wise, um, love or gain, yummy. Um, 310 is good as well. Uh, keto chow, I like it. Some of the flavors I don't like as well as other flavors, but I mean, that's personal preference, and I've kind of gone out of my way to try a whole bunch of different things. Um, the True Vani. The True Vani was not bad. I went into it scared because I had heard, you know, people talking about the earthy taste. I didn't think it tasted earthy at all, but for taste-wise, my favorite probably would be between the 310 and the Orgain, if I'm just being totally transparent. And on my pocket, that would be, I would say, um, 310 would probably be the easiest one on my pocket. Um, well, between 310 and Orgain. Orgain, you can get like anywhere. So um, Orgain has some pretty good sales as well. I think right now everybody's having a sale, but 
I know Orgain does some good sales and 310. Um, they do sales as well here and there. So let me know your thoughts. That is it. And thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions on anything you've seen today, please comment below. Let me know if you've tried any of these four shake brands. If there is a shake brand that you think I need to try, please comment below and let me know because I'll try it. Then we'll come back and I'll do a video and we'll discuss. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.